Hey, I'm Jake from Basic Video, and in this, and I'm here to show you another Google Sheets tutorial. Where today, I'm going to be showing you how to add a table to Google Sheets. So follow along. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Google, and you're going to open up Google Sheets. Once you type in Google Sheets in Google, you'll be brought to this page that I'm at right now. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to click the blue button, go to Google Sheets. After you're there, if you've used Google Sheets before, you'll have some options down here. If you haven't, you'll just have these templates. So what I want you to do for today is just click blank template. We're just going to be creating a blank template. <clears throat> After your template loads up and it's open, you're going to want to give your template a name. Right now it's called Untitled Spreadsheet. We will just call this template Test Table because we're going to be creating a table with this template. So just click away from it. Now it's got a name. It's going to automatically be added to your Google Drive. <clears throat> and we're going to create a table. So when we're creating a table, the first thing we want to do is we want to give the table a title. So let's say we're going to do we're creating a table about our favorite sport. So maybe you have a favorite sport, whether it's soccer or basketball or whatever. So we'll, we'll call this table right here in, line, in row or column B in a row six. I'm going to type in my title, favorite sport. Now you can type in your title wherever you want. I'm just doing it right there so I have some open space to move it around. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create our title, our title row. So this is just the title of our total survey, our table. Favorite sport. So then we'll call it right here. We'll say name of sports and number of people. <clears throat> As you can see, this number of people kind of bleeds to the next row or the next column. So I can do this button. I can drag it to make it a little bigger. So let's say we took a survey of all of our of all the classmates that we have in a class and there's 30 students total in our class. And we had to ask all 30 of those people what their favorite sport was and we gave them four choices. So let's say we we said soccer, basketball, <coughs> football, or baseball. Now Let's say you had them just pick between those four things. The next thing we want to do is we want to have the number of students for each one. So let's say we surveyed all of our classmates. We have 30 classmates in our class. And five of them, five, five students, their favorite sport is soccer. So we'll just click five. And then let's say five of them were basketball, 10 were football, and 10 were baseball. Now that, if you add it all up, it adds up to 30. But if we wanted to check to make sure it's really the number 30, we can type in a formula. Or we can just click over here at this button, and we can click Sum. And then we would just drag all this, and then press the Enter button on your keyboard, or the Return key. And then we would say this is total. So. What this means, if we look at all of our numbers, five kids like soccer, five like basketball, 10 like football, and 10 like baseball. In total, we had 30 students. And watch, if I change this, like let's say I made a mistake and I said only nine kids like baseball. It changes down in the total. <laughs> it tells me, hey, right now you only have 29 students. You better change that. So this is how you add a table. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to just make it look a little prettier with borders and colors, and then we're done. So first thing we want to do is we want to add borders. So if we highlight all of our table, all of it, so I just have to click and then I drag all the way down. And then I go up here to this borders button. You can highlight over it. It'll say borders. I can click all borders. And look, now it has it nice and even and dark. And I can highlight these two, and I can make them bold. This is your bold button. And then maybe I want to bold the total. I can bold that. 
maybe if I want to change the size of this, right now it's size 10. So maybe we want to make it size 14 or 12 just to make it stand out a little. I might need to move this to make it a little bigger. Maybe we'll make this four or make this 14 too. So that's the basics. Next thing we can do is we can add colors to things. So let's say we want to make soccer like a certain color. We can use this paint can, this fill color. Make soccer yellow. Make basketball red. Make football green. And make baseball blue. So now our table has some color. It has some different sizing in it. And it even has a formula. So this is our formula right here, the total. And that's it for adding a table. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the uh, comment box below. Otherwise, I'm signing out. I'll see you guys next time.